The sand stretches into the horizon like a racing track. And these ostriches zoom across for the finish line. For where the grasses grow greener. The largest of all birds, they're as heavy as they are fast. With each firm step stamped into the ground. Reaching speeds of 70 kilometers per hour, they sprint together as a convoy. And when the ground turns green, they stop to refuel. Although some have other things on their minds. This male boasts the black and white of his feathers in a seductive display. It's an unwavering dance that intrigues the female until she finally approves. But after mating, both will search for other dance partners. Ostriches aren't monogamous. The male defends a territory, and females wander through, mating with those they encounter. This male will most likely mate with all the surrounding hens, and yet still he is committed to parenthood. He'll scrape a single hole into the ground, a communal nest where all the group's females will lay eggs together. The communal nest can hold up to 60 eggs from multiple hens, each raised by the same male, as he upholds his fatherly duties. For a bird, the ostrich has an unusual breeding system. A single male raises the joint clutch of several unrelated females. Among them, only the most dominant hen offers help with parenting. The unrelated minor hens will leave this small kingdom once they've laid their eggs. But the strong bond the dominant hen has with the male compels her to stay behind, and they both rise to take the throne, a king and queen in their own right. In turns, they help with incubation, the female during the day and the male at night. Most eggs in the communal nest belong to the dominant hen, though still there are plenty that don't. In the natural world, it may seem unnatural to care for unrelated young. But for this hen, there is almost no added cost of parenting, and so she accepts those of the mistresses. The ostrich is the largest of all living birds, and the largest bird would naturally lay the largest egg. But ostriches lay the smallest egg relative to their body size allowing them to incubate more eggs. When an ostrich can incubate more eggs than she can lay herself, the evolution of communal nesting may be favoured. On average, females lay up to 7 eggs in a season and they can each incubate up to 20. This spare nesting capacity allows females to accept more eggs, but in a kingdom the queen always has an advantage. She can recognize her own eggs from those of others, and she'll organize the clutch so that all hers sit in the center. The extra ones she has no room for are pushed out and discarded. When the eggs finally hatch, the young quickly bounce to life a common trait shared among many birds. They can already move and feed themselves, which removes the parental burden of finding food for the young. This may have set the stage for communal nesting, since brood size is no longer limited by the huge cost of parental care. With guidance, the young simply find food on their own they will follow their parents as they grow, who will shade them from the heat and protect them from predators. Fledgling survival is often higher in larger broods due to the safety in numbers, and sometimes 
neighboring groups of young may join together to form loose colonies. Communal nesting is most likely to evolve from a male incubating ancestor. From phylogenetic analysis, many birds that take to this behavior have a strong history of male incubation. In early birds, male incubation may have first evolved from a non-parental monogamous ancestor, perhaps to increase the chances of egg survival. When males incubate, they become an attractive resource for females. This selective pressure on males to attract more females counteracts with a selective pressure on females to exploit parental males, and dominant hens may have been unable to prevent minor hens from invading their nests. Along with a larger body size, this may have also favoured the evolution of communal nesting, especially if the survival rate of joint clutches is high. This may be the breeding system for ostriches, but other communal nesting birds have somewhat different forms, tweaking the strategy. In South America, the male greater rhea, a cousin of the ostrich, mates with a harem of females, each one laying in his nest before moving on to neighbouring males. Alone, the male takes on the parental duties, incubating the clutch and rearing the young himself, while the female is free to seek other nests, laying eggs for up to 10 different males in a season. But for some fathers, a single nest isn't enough. They'll recruit help from sub-adult males, a nanny to take care of their eggs as they start a second nest elsewhere. For the greater rhea, successful breeding requires only one parent. For ostriches, the attention of both is necessary, perhaps due to high predation on nests or the sparse food supply in the arid environment. Not all the giant birds take to communal nesting. From the dry grasslands of Australia, the emu looms over the greenery. It's a socially monogamous species, forming tight breeding pairs until the female lays her eggs and searches for additional mates. Parenting only falls to the male, but the young usually share the same mother. For millions of years, the mowers, another group of large flightless birds, thrived in New Zealand before their reign ended around 600 years ago. Their eggs were also large, but they were fragile. Fossil remains show that even those of the heaviest mower had thin shells. Like the emu and cassowary, male mowers were smaller than females, so incubation was most likely the father's role. Thin eggs would have cracked under the heavier weight of their mothers. Neither the emu nor cassowary nest communally, so perhaps the same could be said for the similar mowers. The benefit of larger clutches may have been too small to favour its evolution, or that other nests were simply too difficult to find in the thick environment. In the ratite family tree, one extinct relative may be most similar to the ostrich. The elephant bird was the largest bird that ever lived. It towered over the grasslands of Madagascar at around 3 meters tall, with eggs even larger than those of the dinosaurs. One egg was the size of seven ostrich eggs, and they too had thick shells, meaning they could withstand the weight of both parents during incubation. From these similarities, it could be possible that these birds also engaged in communal nesting. Both Madagascar and New Zealand had giant eagles that preyed upon the giant birds. But unlike New Zealand, Madagascar also had land predators. This higher predation risk may have favoured communal nesting through the dilution of young. Today, the ostrich holds the crown of largest living bird, a reign that has lasted over 600 years. Its unique breeding system has helped it sustain this monarch, as together a group raises the next line of royals. <laughs>